My name's Alone and welcome to episode number 2 of the Deadman Mode series. As I said in the end of my last video, I will be killing black dragons in the beginning of this one. I am poisoned by the way, which is not a very good thing because it takes for 5 and uh, I don't have infinite food really with me and I don't have the best food in the game. But uh, hopefully these dragons won't take 10 years to kill so I'll actually die by the poison. I'm not joking. Guess how long it took to get two black dragon kills with this setup that I'm using and 58 ranged. Look how consistently I'm hitting zeros on this dragon. Yeah, it's been 22 minutes and I'm about to get my second kill. 11 minutes on average to get each dragon kill is just not worth it and also I'm going to have to bank anyway and it just regained health. Yeah, I am not going to do this for the entire task. I'm going to do something else and get back here when I have better weaponry or I have higher range level because, yeah, this is just not worth it. Oh my god, at least I get super rewarded for that kill. Another one of these emblems. I mean, I talked to this guy. He has killed almost 11 of these dragons. He's got nothing. And it's, it's, it was his second task as well. So, I am so damn lucky with those. Now that is what I call stonks. That's, what, 6,000 GP? No wait, 6.5k GP for each black dragon hide. Why is that selling more than the normal dragon bones? That is so weird. Wait, that's actually so good. I can use that in two levels, right? Oh wait, I can use it now? Oh, it's 50. Damn, that's so nice. Probably the best thing for me to do right now is train melee, because if I do get 60, I have both a pretty good ranged setup with my magic shortbow. I mean, decent for the early stage of the game. And if I get 60 attack, I can actually use the dragon dagger. And if I get another emblem, I can buy the dragon scimitar from the bounty hunter shop and get a, that as a good weapon as well for melee. So yeah, I guess it's time to do some melee training. This could be a complete waste of all my marks, but I might buy one of these. And I'm going to sell them at the GE and see if I can get any money for them. Because money right now is like the most important thing, because you can buy maybe like a rune scimitar or adamant scimitar or whatever I want to use. So during Denman mode, they actually have reduced steps on clue scrolls. So this could potentially be the last step for a medium clue. This is step number two. Would be super cool to complete one of these already. Ah, oh, that's how unlucky. Lumbridge Church, wait, that's so easy. This is for sure the last step as well. First medium casket for the account. Imagine if I would get rangers on the first one, that would be hilarious. Let's see what we get. Purple sweets, adamant pickaxe, wow, this is actually really good. Uh, I'm not sure if I should sell the purple, purple sweets or use them because they do restore run energy. I'm gonna eat one. That's 10 run energy. Uh, I just bought an energy potion as well, so that's like 10 energy sips in 1 or 11 now. Uh, Adamant Pickaxe can probably sell for some money as well, so I'm pretty happy with that. I did kill some Chaos Druids and I got 43 attack, 32 strength. But right now I'm actually spending some money on making potions because I am currently 21 herb lore and let's see um, the experience that I'll get from these strength potions. 500 experience each. Experience is pretty crazy, but I want to get to 38, I think it is, let's just check real quick, 38 for the prayer potions that I will be needing for doing barrows and also of course PKing in the future. I think it's a very good method of getting money also in the beginning, and I have actually got a decent amount of Rainars, look at this, 6 Rainars, so when I get there I can actually do 6 prayer potions. Pretty sweet to be making my first prayer potions, almost 1000 experience each as well. Uh, do I get 40? Oh no, I don't get 40, but 39 herb lore, and I actually want to see what they are going to sell for. Uh, I'll put a 1 for probably like 2k, let's see if it actually sells for that. Okay, it doesn't, so I don't think people really have the money yet for it, so I'm just going to keep them in the bank for now. Definitely going to be something I want to use in the future though for probably barrows or sell for equipment. Now that I have a bit of a more hefty account, I went down here and just finished the Stronghold of Security. Got 5k coins and now these boots. They are not better than my climbing boots, but I have them nonetheless. This is probably actually my first death. Unfortunately, I am probably dead here. Um, Yeah, this is going to... Yeah, I'm dead. That's the first death on the account. Unfortunately, you lose everything with that, and skill-wise, I don't think I lose anything, 
and I will have to check my bank. I did actually secure my Dragon Dagger, so that is all good, and also my Dorgish on Crossbow. So I will have to go and check, but my stats right now is 55 attacks, so I'm making pretty good progress there. And I'm not sure what I lost, but I have pretty much no money left. I had, I think, 5k maybe, and I still have, of course, nothing here now. Okay, never mind. I actually thought I had all those stuff uh, still there, but I guess that's a way of keeping people away from just putting things here. But I didn't really have anything that uh, impressive there. I guess the Amelie crystals or whatever they're called is the uh, big thing. Well, at least I kind of learned that cakes is not great for PKing. I mean, I kind of knew that already, but having a bunch of them in my inventory doesn't mean I can actually survive PKers. I do need that uh, swordfish big healing uh, for the future. Wait, what? I thought it would be worth running back here to see if he actually left something. He left my magic shortbow. Why though? That is so weird, like why would he not take that? I guess that's pretty nice though, and a lot of the arrows, so I didn't even lose that much. That's pretty sweet. Okay, that was lucky. Uh, I got attacked meanwhile trying to get steel play bodies. Hopefully this guy doesn't actually catch up with me, but the web spawned, literally as I ran through it. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, I guess not. Um, yeah, I'm probably dead here. I mean, I can eat my cakes, but that's pretty much it. I have no run energy. God, man, getting money back after you die is such a pain. I don't even know what to do for money. Like, all I can do is go here and get these uh, steel plate bodies. I really don't know what else I can do at the moment. And uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty bad. Yeah, I'm dead here. Okay, so I'm going to die here and I really need to rethink how to get money after I die. Because I actually have no idea really how to do it. Because the only thing I can think about is still plate bodies in the wilderness. And I can't do that either, so that's kind of unlucky. I actually tried to do thieving, but you don't even get money if you thieve some NPC in a safe zone. So I would have to pickpocket guards in PK areas and I, I don't even know where that would be. I mean, I have no idea where you can find even Knights of Ardoin outside of a safe spot zone. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to get Winter Toad. Uh, I need 50 fire making for that and uh, I will just go there and try to get money that way from the crates. I mean, it's probably not the best for sure, but I just cannot think of any other way right now and I don't really want to get farmed even more. I'm still very unsure if this is actually a good way of making money in Dead Man, but uh, after this oak log, I'm now 50 fire making. Let's enter here, I bought some wines, and let's see if there's other people here actually. There is not really anyone here, so I guess I would have to do a solo winter toad, but uh, yeah, that's not too bad, I'll try it. Wait, what? The fire does 15 damage ticks to me. 18 sometimes even. Uh, I'm going to guess that... Uh, oh, that has to be because the pyromancers are all dead. I'm not sure I can actually do this in that case. Uh, probably can't. <laughs> Look at that, 15 damage. Yeah, I'm going to try to hop to uh, world 1, this one, or yeah, the dead man world number 1. See if there's a difference in people, if it's still no one here, I will have to ditch this probably, unfortunately. So let's see how the uh, number one Deadman world is. Yeah, completely empty. Good thing I picked up quite a lot of uh, snapdragons, or not snapdragons, uh, snape grass, so I can actually sell that at the GE anyways. So as I mentioned, I did pick up 48 snape grasses, and I just remember them when I bought for the prayer potions I wanted to make. They were actually fairly expensive, so I'm not sure if they're actually 200 GP each, that's maybe a bit too much. Yeah, see, they sold for, yeah, about 200 GP each, so... Back to 10k and let's see how much the wines can sell for. Maybe I can actually sell them as well. I'm just going to try to sell one of them for 3 GP, but um, yeah, 40 GP. It's actually not that bad. You buy them for 1 GP at the, um, at the store. So I'm going to sell all of them for 800 GP. Guess uh, they don't sell all instantly, but 10k is a pretty good start capital. And uh, I will, with that, get my magic shortbow back because yeah... I did actually get PK'd one more time off video, and that was just... I was just running to, um... To, what is it called? The... 
uh, Seiya, and I got PK'd. So, kind of unlucky on that one, but I can probably just buy this back easily. I always had this in my deposit box that I wanted to protect, but I can't really use it anyways, and I really need the money, so I sold it for 17.4k to buy some supplies. It was literally one hit almost of killing a black dragon, I get PK'd. At least I got to escape, so that's a good thing. Well, I guess I'll die. Uh, I am probably not going to be able to complete this black dragon task. It's just not going to happen. I'm getting destroyed by everyone there. Yeah, I'm not doing Black Dragons, I just had to get another assignment from Turel and uh, I will complete this 34 Zombies real quick and then I'll try to get another Wilderness task because those emblems I really need. You can alk them for 30k coins and I really really need that right now, as you can see if you look at my character. So I'm going to play way more safe now. If I get a really risky task where I have to go somewhere really dangerous, I won't actually do it. I will just cancel a task and get another one on Turel. And I have collected 200 Snape Grass now from Seiya to uh, get some start capital. 134 Ice Giants. That is also Deep Wilderness. Unfortunately, it's actually all the way over here. So I'm going to get another uh, Turel task. But I can't actually skip it. I have to do it, guess I'll have to risk everything I own again. I actually went to bed after dying so many times and now I woke up again and I killed some ice giants on the task and I got an archaic emblem. So let's turn that in and now actually I have enough points to buy a dragon scimitar. So I'm going to do that and now I have to run straight back to the GE and put that into the deposit box because I really don't want to die with that now. I've actually been here for like one hour I think without dying and I have 68 ice giants left. Uh, I'm actually safe spotting the ice giant on a kind of weird spot but I've got two archaic emblems and I will be able to alk them for a decent amount of money and I will put that on another account so I don't actually risk it but uh, I will go back to the bank very soon probably. I don't want to risk all these items. I did not want to risk this uh, now that I have some money that I can use with alking. If I actually get just one more mage level, I can alk, and I do have some money, so I can probably do that. I will alk these, and I will actually put the money on another account that I have, because I really don't want to go through full rebuilds every single time I die, because I do, of course, expect to die more times, and hopefully also get PKs, of course, but uh, yeah, I'm going to alk these for 60k, put them on another account, Maybe use some of the money, of course, for new ammo and gear before I go back to Ice Giants. Um, apparently, you can't even alk them. Uh, I don't know why so many people recommended that, because it literally is not possible. So I guess I will have to go to the reward shop here and claim the points for it, and then buy something that I can actually alk. I guess that the uh, best things are Dragon Daggers, they're 90k, all the other things are a bit too expensive, maybe the Dragon Maze. Can I examine to see the Alk value? Okay, I can't. Um, uh, I'm not sure, I guess I'll buy... I can buy two Dragon Daggers, so I guess I'll just do that, and I will Alk them for... How much GP? Yeah, 18k, that's not too bad, I guess. Oh my god, dude, how unlucky can I actually be? This is ridiculous. Like, I go back to the Ice Giants, I get PK'd again. GG Bank. Good thing I uh, put some money on my mule, because if I didn't, I wouldn't have any money again, so I will definitely do that in the future. I'm actually done with Wilderness Slayer, it just isn't paying off, I'm dying way too much, so I just cancelled my task here, and I will keep doing Slayer outside of the Wilderness from now on. I still make decent money from it probably when I get higher Slayer regardless, but 18 goblins, easy. I actually got an Ice Warrior task, and I'm going to do it here, but before that, 60 attack, and I'm now going to teleport back to Varrock, get back here and do the Ice Warrior task with a Dragon Scimitar. It's going to be very, very nice. I am a bit scared though, because if I die, I'm doomed. So of course, now that I have the Dragon Scimitar and I have 60 attack, I will be training up my strength. Having 44 strength is pretty abysmal, but it is going very fast now that I have this Dragon Scimitar. If I don't get PK'd, this task should be fairly quick with 84 left. But with my luck, getting PK'd like 6 times already, that is pretty unlikely. Okay, uh, I didn't get that on recording, unfortunately, but two people logged in beside me with skulls, and I instantly got the teleport off. I am so happy that I brought law runes. 
Oh, I was so close to dying. I have 30 left only, so it's actually going pretty good so far. And uh, I'm getting decent money from these nature runes. I'm not even kidding, I feel like Sea Engineer. I always think that people standing in like PK areas AFKing are scouts. I mean, if the next clip is me dying, I was probably right. Did I just finish an entire Slayer assignment without getting PK'd and uh, ruined for all my GPs? What? This has to be a bug or something. I also got Raynor drops and a lot of runes, so it's perfect. I guess that's uh, the rebuild coming in hot. 77 werewolves. Uh, do I actually have to go? Oh, that seems like such an annoying task. I guess I have to go to Canifis for that. Uh, I might actually spend some money that I have now on bones because I can use that on the Ectophunters as I'm going to Canifis anyways to get some prayer levels. I'm only 33 right now, so I don't even have protection prayers, which might save me in the future. So I was going to buy slime buckets from a store, and I teleported to Camelot, which probably wasn't the best thing to do, and I got instantly PK'd, but I'm telling you, this was actually a good thing that I did this beforehand. I have learned I'm not going to any dangerous areas, so I am actually for sure also uh, removing that werewolf task, because going to cannabis is extremely dangerous. I wanted to just go with dragon bones and use them uh, on the uh, on the uh, ectophantus without uh, risking my gear. And uh, well, I got instantly PK. It's a really good thing I put them in there. I know that this video was probably very underwhelming. I mean, I did get my dragon scimitar and all that, but uh, I was watching some other people play, some other YouTubers and all that, and they got way further than me on the first day. But I have to say that. Pretty much all of them were streaming and got donations by their viewers and for example a guy got Vesta Longsword for like 10k off a person because they just wanted to give them to it, uh, the weapon to them right because they're streamers and they're fans. So I, I would say that without any help and also being completely new to Deadman mode I'm not that disappointed with my progress. I can soon go and get my Dragon Defender as well, and I'm getting my defense up a bit, and uh, in general, I think I'm doing okay. Of course, I could be doing way better if I didn't get PK'd all these times, and if I knew where I shouldn't be going, because some areas obviously are very bad to go to. For example, Camelot, I should not be teleporting there. It, a guy with like super good gear, Scald, stood there and just instantly barraged me, and I was just dead. There was just nothing I could do, and that was just because I didn't know that that was going to happen if I teleport to Camelot. To most people who play Deadman mode already, like other seasons, they probably know that doing that is just suicide. So I will have to learn, and hopefully, first, let's see uh, if I can get a new assignment. Yes, please. Three, okay, that's super easy. But yeah, um, of course, in the future videos, I will be way more careful. And I will try to progress this account as good as possible because I do want to get into barrels actually as soon as possible. That sounds kind of funny maybe, but I kind of want to get there before the barrels drops become do double because that is the May 8th, I think. And at that time, the amount of people doing barrels will be insane. And there will be... the competition will be so crazy. Like, you will get PK'd probably all the time by clans being there, so... I want to try to get there before that, but yeah, we will have to see what happens. But I, I'm going to end the video here, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and in the next one, it will probably be less deaths, well, at least I hope so, and more progress, and uh, take this video as a learning experience for me. So, uh, see you in the next one, guys, take care, click any videos on the screen right now if you want to see more content, subscribe and all that. Appreciate y'all.